This is the new Luna 860C display. It works with the FANG BBSHD, BBS02, and BBS01 systems, possibly other systems as well in the future. Now what it comes with is this nice display itself here. You've got a USB port here, making it one of the few displays with that. You've got articulating arms. You can change this so this rotates even if you don't want to rotate it at the handlebars, which is a nice touch. You've got a selector switch, which is separately wired, and about 8 inches of length here. You do have a connector as well, so you can put an extension here if you want. Uh, what comes in the box is you get some bolts. You've also got some uh, adapters. So this is for 25.4 and this is for 22.2. Now let's get into some of these features as far as the display itself. You've got um, auto sensing light and dark mode. At the moment it is in dark mode. This is light mode. And you can hold down plus to turn that on or off. And you can also hold down minus if you want to turn on walk mode. This is not hooked up to a bike at the moment, obviously, but we can, so we can't show you the speed, but we can show you some of the power output if you'd like to see that. So that's cool. Let's check out the menu. So how we do this is we would double tap to go into the menu. Before we do that, actually, let's check out some of these metrics down here. You have six different metrics, and you can just tap M to cycle through these. You have trip, odometer, range, time, max speed, and average speed. So that's a lot of good stuff, and we'll show you how to set some of that in a minute. So let's go into the menu here and we have a bunch of different menu options. And we have a uh, system, so you can change this from imperial to metric. By default, it comes with metric preset. And um, down below, we have the settings for how bright you want the dark mode to be. And we can, we can turn that pretty bright if we want to. Keep in mind that this is only for dark mode and it's it's not relevant for if you're going to use the menu in light mode because as you can see this is what you look like when you have it in uh, day mode and you go into the menu it's very bright so going back into here let's check out the auto off so this can be very useful for if you uh, if your speedo sensor gets broken or something like that, you can turn that off to disable error 21 turning off the bike, which is uh, very interesting and, and useful. So by default, I think it's at uh, five minutes. You can change that all the way up to 10 if you want to, or you can turn it off. You have a couple other things like scenes and language, which are sort of preset. Those can't be changed. Let's go down here to battery indicator. So you can change this from voltage to off or percent. I would recommend voltage since you can always extrapolate what your battery percentage is based off of your voltage and that's usually the best way to go about using it. You have power indicator, you can either go current or power. You have a basic clock stuff you can set here. Start password if you want to password protect the display so it can't be used. And we have uh, a bunch more settings here. You have your wheel size, and this allows some fairly fine-grained control over the wheel size, including 27, 26, and various others. You have battery. You can change that to 52, 48, or even down to 36. You have USB port, which you can turn on or off. If you were uh, exposing your display to a lot of water, you can turn that off and there wouldn't be any power going to it, so that might lower the chance of it being uh, shorted out from water, which is definitely interesting and helpful. We have the light sensor. You can turn that on or off and adjust the sensitivity. And you can go into the advanced settings here. Now, the password is 
1199. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set that. Now we can check and change the speed limit, the assist settings, and change error codes. By default, assist is on uh, 5. You can change that up to 9, or you can change it to user defined. Uh, error code is just going to show the last known error code if there is any. You can do a factory reset here if you want. And then you have basic information about everything, including the uh, the stuff that's displayed on the main display. It's all laid out very nice there. You can also check out the product information, which is information on the display itself, including like the firmware and that sort of thing. And there's also another setting below that for battery information. Most people using this display are not going to be using that. So uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy it. We think this is one of the best displays to have come out probably ever. So hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do. Bye.